So this cheeky little plant is called Espostoa melanostal. And it is a native Peruvian cacti and you could see it has this kind of fuzzy, fuzzy look. This is a plant that is totally perfect for a south or southern or western window because it could withstand some of that direct high light. And actually the higher light that you give it, probably the fuzzier it's going to be. And you kind of want to actually pet this. It's not like it's going to prick you, but I'm sure if you actually go in the opposite direction, it's going to prick you. But with all of this white fur, this kind of tells me that this is a plant that's trying to protect itself and to bounce that light off of it. So this one is one that I had purchased from eBay, oh, I would say maybe about three and a half years ago. So this is a very slow grower. And like I said, I'm kind of giving it um, some southwest conditions. Uh, I actually have this in a pretty rocky mixture, but I have rocks on top because sometimes I'll do that because one, it might look a little pretty, but two, it's not going to dry out the soil at the top of the soil so much. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it just because you're not going to be able to see whether there's moisture in the soil. Um, I do have this in a terracotta pot, a little cheeky one. So mind you, I feel like I need to blurt this one out, blur this one out, but um, uh, it will kind of pull away some of that moisture. So this is a plant that does not need a high humidity. It doesn't need a tremendous amount of moisture. In the summer months, I'm roughly kind of watering it once to twice a week. And then during the winter months, I'm kind of withholding water completely unless I get one of those really hot, sunny, intense days. And then I will um, spritz it a little bit or give it a little bit of water so it doesn't dry out completely. As far as fertilizing this goes, during the growing season of the spring and summer months, you could get away with a monthly fertilizer on like a 247 or a 347. Honestly, you could probably get away with um, fertilizing it more on a on a bi-monthly or even an annual basis, but because this is a little bit more of a slow growing plant. But it's a very eye-catching plant, as you can see, and if you put it in an eye-catching planter, then people will definitely take notice of it.